my YouTube channel. And in this channel, we'll be covering all things nutrition and health. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so on the tab below. And also please turn on the notifications button so that every time uh, we upload a new video, you get the notification that we have uploaded it and that way you'll be able to keep um, up to date with your nutrition and also get new information about nutrition. Welcome to my channel. So in terms of fats, um, we have different types of fats. So we have the good fats and we have the bad fats, okay? What we normally most of the time call the bad fat is the animal fat. Because again, um, that is the type of fat that a lot of times will adhere to your blood vessels and cause conditions like, you know, atherosclerosis. Because if it's um, adhering to your blood vessels, what that means is, um, you know, if, for instance, your blood vessel is this um, wide, if the fats are in your bloodstream, then what happens is they'll start depositing along um, your blood vessels, all right? So with time, as they deposit more, that deposit is called plaque. So as more, uh, with time as they deposit, then the blood vessel starts to narrow down. And the more it narrows down, what happens? The blood is getting the space where the blood is supposed to pass through is decreasing uh, with time. So that is what again will increase the blood pressure and with time that could even cause uh, stroke. So it's, it's very, very important for you to choose the right type of fat. So an example of good fat, avocado has very, very good fat. Yeah. And um, now in terms of fat, we have what we call unsaturated fat and saturated fat now saturated fat is what you'll find in animal products okay it's saturated because you know in terms of chemistry when it comes to the the bonding the, it has um saturated bonds it does not have free bonds but the unsaturated uh, fats it has some free bonds okay so in terms of choosing the right type of fat we need to choose the unsaturated fat and as i mentioned saturated fats always remember animal products have saturated fats we also have some plant based fats that are actually saturated something like palm oil that is a saturated fat okay um, most vegetable oils some of them are also saturated so you, you need to choose the right type of fat not all of them are saturated so you need to choose unsaturated fatty acids and some of the best sources are like avocado um, we have stuff like you know olive oil that is also unsaturated very good type of fat we have canola oil so right now what i'm sure you'll get in the supermarkets you'll be able to get especially if it's for cooking you can get the canola oil um sunflower oil is not a real is also if it's for cooking it's also not a very bad um oil but if you are if you're choosing the best of the best then it would have to be olive oil followed by you know the canola oil or the flaxseed oil as well is also not bad okay so that is the other class of um, um, nutrients that is called the fats. Okay, so what's the work of fat in the body? The work of fat in the body, first of all, we said um, carbohydrate provide, they are the primary energy source for the body, right? But in the absence of carbohydrate, or if you're on a very low um, carbohydrate diet, like for guys who are on a ketogenic diet, we are going to be discussing that in a separate video. But for people who are in, on a ketogenic diet or, or a very, very low carbohydrate diet, then the source of the um, energy for the body is going to be the fats, all right? So that is what, that's why it's very important for you now to again choose the right type of fat so that it's not causing other health issues or health complications like the heart disease, all right? So the work of fat, one, it can be used as an energy source. Two, it helps in insulating um, the system, like for uh, the body, for instance, um, when it's very, very cold, it's actually the work of the fat to make sure that your temperature does not drop too low. Um, fats also help to lubricate your joints. Now, the other type of nutrients that's very, very important for all of us that we tend to uh, ignore a lot is the micronutrients. So the three that I've mentioned, the carbohydrate, the fats, and um, the protein, those are called macronutrients. Why are they called macronutrients? Because they're required in higher amounts in the body, all right? Because they're the ones that does the day-to-day -day regulation of your body, you know, controlling, like for the protein, they're going to be helping in the synthesis of new cells. They're going to be repairing your, your, your worn-out body cells. So 
the macronutrients are very, very important, and the macronutrients are the carbohydrate, the fat, and the protein.